guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here um today i am going to be just kind of doing a chatty video where i test out some new makeup so this video is kind of going to be a tutorial kind of not it's not going to be a super like in-depth amazing tutorial i'm more so just wanting to like do makeup try out new products talk to you guys and just kind of catch up so if that's what you're here for then keep on watching okay guys so first off i have not filmed a video or been on youtube for a little over a month now basically i did post my savannah video a couple weeks ago but that was actually filmed the first weekend of october it took me forever to get that video up and then since filming that i haven't filmed anything so there's a lot been happening but before i get into all that i just want to go ahead and do a few things and kind of get this video started so i can start doing my makeup and still chatting with you guys so i'll leave all the products i use down below i may not go like super in depth with the makeup portion of this and talking about it i'm probably going to talk a little bit about products a little bit about like the things i want to talk about and just kind of work through this video it's going to be super low key so first and foremost i want to talk about skincare i've been using recently so basically i am not a big skincare person i used to believe like the more expensive the products the better but um i kind of just realized that the more i did for my skin the worse it was but mix easy reached out to me a couple months ago and asked me if i'd be interested in trying out some of their products and i looked into it and it seemed really cool they actually allow you to customize your products so um, it's like one of those really fun products that you can go and select your like name and the scent and the ingredients in your stuff. So I just want to show you guys quickly what I got and um, explain to you like some of the ingredients in everything and how I use everything. So first off, I got this face cream. This is what it looks like here just a nice a little cylinder a bottle i called mine the perfect cream <laughs> i just kind of think of a fun name i could just send like ashton's moisturizer but i was like the perfect cream and the other product i got i called it the perfect product too so we'll get to that in a minute but basically this is a daily kind of moisturizer and i use this every night before i go to bed i keep it on my vanity in my bathroom i keep all my makeup and stuff like in my um, bedroom but i keep this on my nightstand i mean on my vanity in my bathroom because i get to it and i actually do it each night since it is there this scent you guys is amazing you get to choose your scent and i picked the honey and milk scent for this and it is amazing i am absolutely obsessed with it you guys it smells amazing it smells like a just it smells i'm trying to think it smells like a really like warm and comforting like not overpowering scent i wish i had this in like a perfume honestly it smells absolutely amazing and just so like warm and cozy i absolutely love it so i picked this because of all the skincare products i use i um I really think moisturizer is one of the few things that actually matters, honestly. It's one of the only things that matters for my skin. So I really wanted to try out their face cream and I absolutely love it, you guys. I have noticed a huge improvement in my skin. Ignore this bad boy right here. <laughs> this is like hormonal breakouts. Nothing to do with skincare, it just happens. Um, but my skin has improved so much. Like the thing about this is I chose um, specific like extracts that would make my skin like softer and nourish it and I have noticed a huge difference like when I put this on at night I wake up and my skin is so soft and just like nourished and I absolutely love it I put hyaluronic acid in this to like really hydrate my skin and it is just amazing I absolutely love it so we're gonna start out with this today as a little intro to the video so with the face cream every night I have also been using another product um, mix easy sent me so it came in this little package here in the cutest little like bag and little white for it but this is a rose quartz face roller so I don't know if you guys are familiar with these but these are super trendy now like the jade rose quartz rollers I've always wanted one but I kind of thought it was just like not a sham but like I didn't really know if it was gonna like do anything for me but you guys I literally look forward to using this I don't use it every day because some days honestly I'm showering at like midnight and I'm just like showering throwing on moisturizer and going to bed I don't want to like take the time to do like real skincare but a lot of the time I do use this 
what I usually do is I go and put this in the freezer right before I hop in the shower and then I take it out of the freezer and use it on my face so I'm gonna show you guys how I use this it's really supposed to like help your circulation and help you get um, like all of those uh, good products soaked into your skin so here's what the moisturizer looks like you literally you literally only need one pump like i feel like i used to overuse products so bad but i literally just use one pump so i feel like this is gonna last me forever and i did just wash my hands by the way so i'm just throwing this on my face and i even take it down my neck so the key with jade rollers like this or sorry rose quartz rollers is to go in an up and outwards motion so i start down here at my neck let me move my hair by the way my hair is a mess let's just not talk about it okay <laughs> so i kind of go up like this it's gonna like mess my vocal cords up but and you just kind of go over the area and mix easy sends you a little um like instruction manual that's so helpful but now i've kind of got it down it's so basically you just do this and you like do this all over your face and kind of pass over the areas it's hitting my earring which is why it's making that sound but honestly you can start to see my skin flushes and that's actually a good thing that means you're getting like blood flow to the area so this is just how i use it just really gently it's like not as relaxing because i'm sitting here talking and trying to like show you guys but when i do this at night and it's like cold oh my gosh it is amazing and then it has a little baby side and I love to do under my eyes and just over my eyelids and right here. I have like the worst sinuses and this has helped me so much like with sinus pressure because you can kind of like press down in there. I like the good type of pain. <laughs> so I kind of like press, press it down into my like eye socket and it really just like feels so good. And I, I kind of go over my lips too because those bad boys get dry. And I just stabbed myself in the eye. But anyways, you get the gist. And then I always, always, always wash this with warm soap and water as directed by Mix Easy after I use it. So I will go do that as soon as I finish filming this. But I feel like you can already tell, like, like I said, ignore the patchiness from hormones and everything. But I just already feel better and more supple. Like this is so moisturizing i just love it so i do that and then the other product i got from mix easy that i don't use all the time is the face mask so here's what it looks like and i'll show you the inside i got this one in the scent sunlight dance because i wanted to try out a couple of their scents that they offer to like give you guys a better review here's what the mask looks like it is not like a like green kind of chalky face mask it's actually way more like almost like a cream kind of texture i'll put some back on my hand it's really thick though and i use this a couple times a week i just smear it all over my face and let it sit for like 10 to 20 ish minutes and then i just rinse it off um i will say this is a nice mask i enjoy it i don't think it's done anything crazy good for my skin and also the sunlight dance scent is not the scent for me honestly it smells a lot like a really fragrant like floral kind of intense victoria's secrets perfume which is so good so dandy i actually usually like those type of perfumes but for skincare the milk and honey scent is the way to go so honestly my totally honest review here is i would probably not repurchase the face mask but i definitely would repurchase the um face cream and also the jade roller those have become staples in my routine and i absolutely love them and also so mix easy sent me these products free they like asked me to pick them out i customized them i showed you guys on the screen how i customized them they sent them to me i'm not getting paid to make this video they told me to be honest and i am being completely honest they did give me a discount code um, you can use the code Ashton, all caps, for 15% off your entire order. Um, I don't think I get any commission from that. I don't, I don't think so. They just let me know I could tell you guys about that in the um, talking points they give you for a video. So, yeah, this is just a really long-winded intro, but honestly, skincare has been so important to me recently because I've been wearing way less makeup, and when I'm not having, like, super bad breakouts, this is literally the worst day for me to film this video, but you guys know there's good and bad skin days, but overall, I think Mix Easy's face cream and jade roller have helped my skin so much recently because it was getting bad, you guys. Like, I'm not even going to lie. It was getting kind of 
bad. I think because of the mask knee that everyone's getting. Um, so I'm gonna just put on a lip oil and we'll get into the makeup portion of this video now. So um, the look I'm going for today is just one of the ones I've been doing a lot recently, but I wanna play with new products and kind of adventure. So the skin is basically gonna be the same, but I might try something a little different with the eyes, but it's still gonna just be a really pretty like basic makeup look. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing this for my own enjoyment. Um, so people don't realize that filming and uploading to YouTube is like a lot, <laughs> especially if you do videos that are longer and like, like this video is going to be a pain in the butt to edit because I like go off subject and you kind of have to like splice it together and everything. So that's kind of where I'm at with everything. I just have not had the time you guys because um, like college during the pandemic has kicked my butt. Obviously when the pandemic first kind of like, I don't want to say started, but I guess so. When it first kind of started, I went online, but we were halfway through spring semester at that point and it kind of just was like everybody didn't know what to expect and honestly professors kind of lowered their, at least in my experience, they kind of lowered their <laughs> expectations a little bit just because they knew like they didn't even know what they were doing, like much less like how could they expect the students to kind of pull through. So basically last semester was hard just because, I mean obviously college is so hard regardless and I am like, like I don't fail classes <laughs> just because I'm so like crazy obsessed with getting good grades. Like I, I do a lot in school like that. That's kind of my thing um, for better or for worse. Like school's kind of always been my thing. And so when your thing is kind of in question, as I know, a lot of people's are during this pandemic. I mean, like people are losing their jobs or livelihoods. Like it's a lot, you guys. And so college students are no exception. We have been going through it. Um, at least I can say I have my friends and people I know's mental health has been terrible. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a psychology major. So mental health is kind of my thing. And honestly, I've been struggling just purely because I see how many other people are struggling and just so many of my friends that are such like passionate people have been really having a hard time in this pandemic and it like literally breaks my heart. Um, so anyways, and professors, like my favorite professors at UT are just really going through it themselves and I've just seen them firsthand kind of like struggle to adjust and with the whole zoom thing like ut when i say ut i'm referencing the university of tampa where i go um with ut we previously were not an online school so we had no online classes before the pandemic in march like at all so none of our professors were like used to teaching through that format if that makes sense um so it was an adjustment for everyone online or not to switch um into like COVID approved uh, teaching at schools, but especially for a college that didn't really have like any experience with online classes, we kind of got thrown into it as did the professors. So it's just been a huge learning curve for everyone. And just, I don't know, people are trying their best, but it, it is hard because people have such mixed feelings about it. And like, I'm not gonna get political with it, honestly. My take is I do the absolute best I can. I'm not a super like outgoing type of person anyways. I love to do things, but I'm not like a partier or anything. So honestly, like my, my activities other than shopping have not been greatly impacted, which is good for me, of course. But they're, you know, being back at school, like people, people aren't following and other people are. Some people are still online they're still you know back home and i've honestly you know it's hard and being out of like the bubble of quarantine and back in the real world you realize like how different people handle things so um i don't know i'm just kind of like it's just been a lot honestly you guys and taking classes online i hate that one reason i even really loved ut was that they didn't require you to do any like online classes or anything because for me personally 
online classes are not the wave. I, I don't learn as well on online classes. I think, I'm not gonna speak for everybody, but I just think the quality of the education you're getting is not the same. I, I just, I really am not convinced that people can get the same experience. And like I said, maybe it's with my major, which is a very relationship focused major. I mean, psychology <laughs> um, is so different now and my professors are doing their best. And if anything, it's taught me to just have empathy, more empathy than I already had for people's struggles. And the fact that even if you don't think people have struggles like it's kind of hard sometimes to understand professors and like where they're coming from but like one of my professors his wife um actually um had cancer and is undergoing chemo so and he's still coming to in-person classes and we just had to be really careful with him not getting like close to him or anything we're always wearing our masks like in any of my classes but you know it just like takes you out of your bubble to think like oh my professor like He's got a family, he's got kids, he's got a wife who is immunocompromised. It's just a lot and I kind of came into this semester being like, you know what, I can still make my college vlogs and do all I, you know, normally do with kind of my fun like school school vlogs, but um that has not been the case. Really COVID has hit me where it's hurt. Um I have not got COVID, thank the Lord. I'm so grateful that God has kept me safe and that I have been lucky enough not to get it. I do go in person to classes usually, ooh, this brush is wet. How did that happen? Okay. <laughs> usually I go in person roughly two to three times a week. Um, I have classes like every day of the week, Monday, I mean, every day of like the work week, you know what I mean? Um, but I usually go in a couple times a week, but actually this week, like for instance, I didn't go in at all because Tampa got hit with Hurricane Ada or Tropical Storm Ada, it's kind of bounced around, but that's the thing. Like even when you were not dealing with COVID, people are dealing with other things, with election, just there's so much happening. And UT shortened our semester by two weeks. So normally like the semester is usually about 15, 16 weeks and this semester it's only 14. So not only ha are we not getting the same amount of material we normally would be getting like just because of COVID, it's a shorter semester. But most of the professors I feel have not changed their curriculum like too terribly much. So basically you're learning like everything with like half the amount of class time almost and like shortened by two weeks. And two weeks in college is like two months. I mean, it's two weeks are valuable. So all that being said, and I also am a part of a lab like conducting research um and i joined a club called her campus um i love that club that club is my heart we're basically are like almost like a woman's act women's activist type of club but we write articles each week and publish them to ut's like chapter website um there's a lot of different chapters i know in the u.s i don't know about other places but i highly encourage you to get involved with your her campus team at your college such a great experience i've always loved to write but getting involved with this club has like allowed me to like tap into that side of myself which is so important and i've made so many close friends through that and i just i really recommend it honestly you guys i just think it's so amazing and so fun also can we talk about this highlight this is the charlotte tilbury bar of gold palette i haven't really mentioned any products yet other than the skincare at the video because everything I just used is stuff I already had. But now we can start talking about some of the new things. So I do BoxyCharm. So this is a disclaimer. If you have not received your November BoxyCharm, this may have a few spoilers in it. I know I absolutely hate when people like just whip out a product and are like, oh, this came in my BoxyCharm when I haven't already received mine. But you guys, BoxyCharm is the absolute best beauty box. No one will convince me otherwise. I've done literally all of them. Ipsy, Birchbox, Glossy Box. I literally got this Natasha Denona palette in this month's box. Do you guys know how expensive Natasha Denona palettes are? These things are like $50 for this. 
Um, I have one other Natasha Denona palette with some more fun colors, but this one is so beautiful. It's just full of stunning neutrals that I think will look great with my eye color. Um, I'm trying to find the name of this. It's called Peak. So I'm going to take this color. I believe it's called Jasper, but I don't know if the layout of these is like reversed or not, but it's just a really almost kind of pinky, dusky color brown. I'm just going to put that on the lid. Um, so anyways, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, I think BoxyCharm is about like $20 a month, but honestly you guys, you'll see some of the other things I got in this video. Insanely good deals. Like you need, and I'm not sponsored by anybody, but definitely not by BoxyCharm. <laughs> and, um, it's just truly the best deal. So you should do it. That's all I have to say about that. This look is just super simple. I'm just blending this color literally everywhere, all over my lid, like that. And I'm also going to wrap that down through here, just like so. There you go. Might tap a little bit more so the darkest part is right on the kind of lower area of my lid space. So what I think I'm gonna do is do one full eye, talk, stop filming so this isn't like a million minutes to edit and then come back and keep talking. So that is that eye. Um, I think I am going to do a bright inner corner as per usual. Y'all know I love my bright inner corner. This is the Ice Me Out highlighter by Kylie Cosmetics and this is one of my favorite highlighters and inner eye corner. Um, eyeshadows I guess I absolutely love uh, this product so anywho what were we even talking about just COVID so school has kicked my butt um we have one more like academic week really which is next week and then we have Thanksgiving break we do have classes Monday and Tuesdays but not Wednesday next week for thing or the following week for Thanksgiving and then after that, the first week of December is finals week. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm obviously not looking forward to finals. Finals suck. They're hard. I'm especially not looking forward to them with um, this being the COVID semester and hopefully the last COVID semester, even though it's not looking that way at UT or anywhere. <laughs> um, I just feel like it's so hard. I just feel like I've had so much on my mind and so has everyone else. It's just gonna be hard to do finals, honestly. So I'm definitely not looking forward to that. Can't say I'm excited for it at all. Um, but what else am I, what else is going on in my life? Um, Trader Joe's has, oh, there's my Christmas tree. <laughs> I decorated for Christmas on November 1st this year because it just happened to fall on a Sunday and it was just the perfect day for me to decorate. So I took down all my fall stuff and put up my Christmas stuff because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. It just gives me so much joy, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I love Christmas, so I went ahead and put my stuff up, and I'm not sorry about it. I'm not. Trader Joe's holiday stuff has begun to uh, come out, and I've already bought a bunch. I'm probably going to go back this week and get some more stuff and see what else they have, but I'm hoping that if next week's not too crazy, even though it probably will be because I'll be doing, like, final assignments and whatnot, I'm hoping to be able to film a Trader Joe's haul um, of like the new holiday stuff because they have some good stuff. I'm not even kidding you. And I just love Trader Joe's. So Christmas plus Trader Joe's, that's like my two favorite things together. Like, of course I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't know what you expected from me, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be talking about it. Oh, this is not a new thing by any means, but I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can see, but these are magnetic lashes. I have had these, these are the Ardell Demi Wispy ones. Um, I have had these magnetic l lashes in my collection for a long time, and they're usually like a full strip, but I absolutely hated them with the full strip because I just felt like they, like, fell off and just, or not fell off, but just didn't look right. 
But then I saw somebody cut them in half. And now that's what I do. I'm gonna fix it because it looks a little wonky because I didn't like do this up close to the mirror. But now I just do half of them and it's like the perfect thing and it's so easy because I don't have to like glue on half a lash. I kind of prefer the way half lashes look, honestly, a lot of times. So I'm gonna go do the other eye and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, that eye took me literally like 45 seconds to do. I'm not even kidding you. I'm gonna do it on my brows now, just really simply. Um. I literally forgot what we were even talking about. Just life updates. Um, oh yeah, I also just placed my first Christmas Bath and Body Works haul. I was gonna go in person, but <laughs> the day that I could go was literally the day that like the tropical storm slash hurricane really hit here and uh, Tampa floods really bad. So even when the storm like subsided, I basically canceled all plans and classes were still completely online um just because it was unsafe to drive like when the roads are flooded really bad like that so they're not placing an order online i know majority of the stuff i got is stuff i like just because i've had it like every year for like 15 years even though i'm 19 um but there's a couple candles that are new to me in there so Anywho, expect a Bath and Body Works Christmas video soon. That even like goes to show you how busy I've been. The fact that I haven't been doing, why did I mess up this brow? Cause this brow looks so much better, but now I've got to make this one uglier because I can't really take away product. It's cause I'm trying to like talk at the same time as doing brows, which is just not a good look for anybody. Okay, well, the point is, is I'm not going anywhere after this. Even if I look terrible, this is just a fun video and like makeup is just like therapy for me sometimes. So I also got the Benefit Give Me Brow in um, my BoxyCharm this month. So I got it in the shade... Let me look what shade I got it in. Oh, how cute. I got it and four i don't know if that's saying it's step four or shade four it says four but look at the cute little packaging this actually looks like the building at um it, it looks like the plant hall building <laughs> at ut that's how like the the towers at ut are structured so it looks like just a tinted brow gel my sister has this and she says she really likes it so oh yeah i really like that I really don't have much experience with tinted brow gels other than the ones that as soon as you swipe them, it like ruins your whole brow. So I'm so glad I got this this month. But you guys, I got this plus like a bunch of other products with the Natasha Denona palette in one boxy charm for this month. Like that is such a good deal. Are you kidding? Um, okay, so basically that's it for the makeup except for the lips. I also got this in my boxy charm. This is the half caked game changer and it has a three lip fondant how cute is this packaging it's like a little deck of cards i've never tried this brand before so i'm really excited because not only is it a new product to me it's a new brand so it comes with three lip fondants these are the colors oh my gosh totally my colors love these this, these are my shades, especially in winter time. I'm really gravitating towards this one right now. This is called Theme Song. I don't get much scent from it, but it looks kind of like a velvety texture. Hold on, let me wipe off excess product from my lips so we can give it a true test. People who put uh, lip product like on top of their um, like gross makeup lips, I'm like, how do you do that? I cannot stand to like have like anything, even foundation. I know a lot of people do that, but I just don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna just go in. I'm not gonna like, use the lip liner because why would I do that? You know what I mean? Yes. It's coming across darker on camera, maybe just because the lighting looks a little wonk, but it's really not that dark. It looks kind of like um, 
shoot Lolita by Kat Von D which is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks but I really like the texture of this because it's really thin I cannot stand a thick heavy like gross cakey liquid lip Ugh. but this feels so nice and it's drying so quick I really like this this might be like a holiday staple for me I'm gonna kind of blot it because I kind of want that like washed out look You know when you like apply makeup just to destroy it to look like you have on no makeup at all? Literally story of my life. Now I just made it look weird. You know what? I should have just left it because I tried to do something and didn't work. Okay, at this point my lips look bad. It is not the product's fault. It is my fault for being stupid. So that is going to complete this video, you guys. Wow, thanks for watching it if you did. Um, this makeup look is nothing revolutionary. Honestly, this was just more of a fun thing for me to do on a Friday after I completed my classes. Just sit down and film and talk and show you guys some funny things I got. Show you my Christmas tree back there. Let me know if you guys want to see a Christmas like apartment tour. Um, because I kind of did a fall apartment tour, but that was before my life went to pot. So, um, let me know if you guys want to see a Christmas one because I will be done with school before Christmas. So, yeah, that's going to complete this video. I feel like the camera is not doing this look justice because in person I'm really feeling it. And on camera, not so much. Whatever. That was not the point of this video. So, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my other social media. And, yeah, like I said, thank you so much if you stuck around. And let me know what you want to see next. Bye, guys.